How's it going guys? I am Jackson Campbell. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Platinum Athletic Club and I'm joined today by my lifelong friend Mason Brown uh, and he's just going to uh, uh, come on here and talk about uh, his business that he started and uh, how he runs it, how he does that and uh, I mean why he even started it. So Mason I'll let you take over right now and uh, introduce yourself. Yeah so like Jackson said Lifelong friends, love this kid. Known him since I was in middle school, and um, it's good. You know, it's good getting to know the kid after last, you know, 10, 13 years we've known each other, right? Mm -hmm. So, uh, a little bit about myself. I uh, I'm in college as well, freshman in college. I'm at Lawrence Tech University, uh, studying uh, mechanical, manufacturing, engineering, and. Um, so a little bit about my business. I run a woodworking business out of my garage and I have done that since COVID started. So back, was that three years ago? Just about, almost. Yeah, I've had it for three years. That's um, crazy. That's kind of crazy, yeah. Yeah, very crazy. So I started it in COVID actually. Um, I was just kind of bored looking for something to do. And my mom came to me with an idea of a planter box. It's uh, a raised bed garden. Uh, you see them all over um, Facebook, Facebook Marketplace. And she came to me and asked me to build one. So I built one for her, came out awesome. And um, the rest is history, basically. I've uh, done all kinds of things from home decor, blanket ladders. Um, what else have I done? I just recently did a, uh, it's, like a uh, it's like a steel piping hanging dog bowl dish thing it's uh that sounds underwhelming but <laughs> it doesn't sound that cool but it is i uh what else have i done i'm thinking about starting getting in the table business like jackson and i were just talking about i think i'm gonna start getting into um doing or what are we what are they called jeez the the, think of the, the pong tables yeah the pong for, tables for the frats yeah if i uh i don't really think there's anybody really in the market for that right now I think that if I started doing that, you mean no competition, right? There's nobody like no, yeah, excuse right. me, no competition. There's definitely people in the market for it. That's why I wanted to do it. Yeah, hey, I mean, um, all, all the frats they want to yeah, be dude. the big macho man on yeah, ca want, on campus. Want, you know, they want they, they want, want the, real the best, shit, right. exactly. So yeah, that's uh, that's a little bit about me. So so Mason, uh, the the name MJ Garage. Yeah. Uh, how did you come up with that? So MJ Garage kind of originated from uh, my name Mason and my grandpa's last name Jackson. So good name, yeah, it's a good name. It's not a bad name. So it's uh, ma basically Mason Jackson Garage. Mm -hmm. So where Jackson comes in is um, my grandpa's last name, like I said, and I kind of started this business with all his tools. So. I kind of thought I had to put, you know, some kind of um, stamp of, you know, him and that I wouldn't be here without, you of know. Of course, paying homage. With him, obviously. So paying homage. I, I think that was a good thing to, uh, and I obviously look up to him. I admire him. He, uh, he owned a landscaping business for 50 years. Really? And, uh, yeah, the way he kind of managed his business and, you know, took care of his clients, not only, but he was just, he was a good guy, good salesman and just knew what he was doing. And uh, I think that I kind of want to take after a little bit what he did, so. Right, and you, and you said that your mom pretty much introduced you to like starting this all, whole yeah. thing up. Yeah, dude. Honestly, without her, I probably wouldn't have business one. Um, she, so she kind of grew up with having her, uh, her parents work um, their own individual business. So I think she kind of, inherited some of those traits of course yeah they kind of um knows what she's doing in that aspect so i think that you know from all that experience she can really help me and give me a good two cents of uh you know what to do with certain things right no i t i totally agree you know yeah. i i know your mom personally and yeah i mean her she herself is an entrepreneur in my opinion you know yeah she owns her own business she's a uh she's a hairstylist yeah. she runs it out of our basement so a lot of work being done in her house. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so. But she always finds time to uh, manage her fun life. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
yeah enjoying time with family i think she tr- i think she tries to yeah. i think she uh she definitely struggles with that mm-hmm. she's always looking for something to do but um aren't we all yeah so yeah man yeah definitely wouldn't be here uh without her so really cool now uh how how do you feel like you can grow with your business like what yeah. what steps you know because i, yeah, I always absolutely. see you uh uh working with uh marketplace mm-hmm. but um there's definitely something beyond that of course yeah there absolutely. has to be you know there absolutely. always has to be uh long-term goals so how, how are you uh looking to move forward with this yeah so right now it's a little bit tough just because i'm in college but i think this summer i'll definitely uh advance more with my business mm-hmm. I'll have a lot more time so i plan on doing that by um i actually just started an etsy started selling small stuff on there and um just really just getting the word out there by myself. Right. I think I'm going to start a YouTube channel. Really cool. Um, I think I'm going to start with more pushing Instagram mm-hmm. and just kind of see where that takes me. I think I'll probably start with like the reels on Instagram mm-hmm. and just kind of do small short videos of, of like how to's and things like that. And then I'll work my way into YouTube. But just kind of want to get my foot in the door with like the, uh, the media producing game. So not only that, that kind of goes with uh, another hobby of mine is hunting. I love hunting kind of just picked it up in the last couple of years but um i want to start doing videos with uh with hunting yeah and just kind of see where that takes me dude because i love it and if i can make it a job somehow you know that'd be that'd be a dream you know there's such a big market with uh like let's say tiktok or instagram reels because the attention span of the kids nowadays i mean it's it's yeah. it's outrageous. <laughs> I mean, nobody wants to sit down and watch, no. let's say, a forty minute video like this. No, you know? nobody does. Dude. Nobody wants to watch it. They want to yeah, watch things it. like this, dude. I th- I feel like like I was just listening to a podcast. Yeah. Obviously, uh, um, something a little bigger than this, but it was uh, it was Joe Rogan, yeah, and Miley Cyrus. Don't ask me why. I don't know. <laughs> it just came on. Okay, but uh, <laughs> just listening to that. I think it's something that you kind of just like put on headphones while you're working out. Of course. While you're, you know, driving home, long trips, something like that. But it's just kind of good. Uh, just good. You can pick up like small facts and different things in those podcasts and it's valuable information. So. I agree. That's why That's why I listen to podcasts. You know, I, I've i always uh, been into business, you know, the exchange of of money you know i just find it so so interesting interesting, you know and if people can touch on that you know and you know pick at that part of my brain you know i mean i think that it's crazy yeah how much i'll listen you know i mean you'll sit there and then all of a sudden 40 minutes go by and you're like holy shit how even just now dude like i feel like like my first time being on a, a podcast or anything like this i feel like I'm just free to talk. Oh, yeah. You know, I just kind of talk whatever I want. Exactly, you know? and that's cool. the whole I like point it. of podcasts, I like and I, I like it a lot, too. Um, where were we? Uh, we were talking about growing your business, I yeah. think. Yeah, yeah, um, So, I totally agree. How are you going to, like, uh, incorporate that into your hunting? Like, how, how do you think you'll do that? I think it'll be two separate things. I don't, I don't think I'm going to oh, combine really? them. Okay. I don't know if, com- I mean, I feel like combining would be kind of cool kind of risky i don't know if anybody would i don't know if it'd don't be know risky it'd just pick be, up on it'd, that it'd be very difficult yeah it'd be difficult because i feel like your target audience right now is um right like less hunter to... i feel like it's yeah. more absolutely outdoorsy yeah, people. if i want to start an actual business instead of just kind of like a a name for myself i feel like you know keeping them separate would be a good idea yeah i totally agree um yeah so um I guess we already went over how you started and what you do and yeah. everything like that. Um, but, uh, I mean, you being an entrepreneur, you know, like, have you been this way your whole life? Or was there was there a moment where you just kind of woke up one day and was like, I'm I'm going to start this, you know, I, yeah. I, or, I mean, was it something where you needed the money or you needed, yeah. you I, needed something I think something it was like more that? so I was pushed into it. Were you? Yeah, like I was forced to. I um, I think I grew up pretty quick. Um, some shit went down in my life when I was about thirteen years old, mm-hmm. and it kind of obviously made me the person I am today. Sounds cliche, but you know. No, it's, I mean it's it's true. Everybody it's true. has their come up story. I think it's true, but uh, <clears throat> I think that without me being forced to grow up so quickly, I don't think I would be so focused on 
not only making money, but just following my passion. Of course. Um, is this your passion? Yeah, dude, I love this. If I could, I'd, I'd quit everything and just hunt fish for the rest of my, li- rest of my life and, and, and build stuff pretty right, much. Right. But obviously, that's not going to make the money right now. So, um, I think I was just kind of shaped into it. I was pushed into it, and I needed to take over a role um, in my life, my family's life, that you know, not many 13-year-olds in, in middle school usually take over. Right. So I think that by doing that, it just kind of shaped me into an entrepreneur, kind of pushed me into the direction of me having to make money. Mm-hmm. And with that, I just kind of found a passion in it. How is, uh, like, how have you dealt with, like, adversity? You know, has, has there been people that yeah. tell you you can't do it? Or have there have there been people that just say, you know what, you're never going to make it? Not so much. You know, I'm blessed to have a bunch of supportive people in my life. Right. Like you and, uh, like you and all all the the floaters <laughs> so it's uh i don't think anybody really realizes knows. what that means nobody but, uh, knows but it's uh we're just a, like five guys who uh kind of you know came, became best friends and uh in high everybody school. has their group chat name and ours yeah for it's some our, for i don't know some why reason i came local you. floaters that's the worst name it's awful it's horrible it's i don't awful. know where it, what is a local floater? And nobody knows. Just, but I, I think know. I think that's the best part about it, you know. <laughs> nobody knows. I, dude. I think that uh, the mystery part, mm-hmm. you know, I yeah. love that. But uh, for sure. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So back to adversity. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, <laughs> kind of got. I think that uh, you know dealing with mm-hmm. adversity obviously comes in many shapes and forms, but I think it's kind of how you bounce back from it course um quoting rocky it's not about how many times you can you know man what is it i was bought i knew i was i'm like i'm gonna sound so good with this um no it's it's honestly it's kind of about how many times you can get hit and get back up it's not really as much um just like looking past the adversity it's kind of learning from it yeah no for and, sure. and making yourself better from it because I think that's kind of where I've learned the most is through tough times and tough shit. But I think that's uh, just kind of how I deal with it. And I just know that there's another side to it. And I think that once you get on that side, you're going to look back and think, wow, I'm thankful for that. Right. I, I'm glad that happened. When you started your business, like, did you have an end goal or did you not really know where you were going with it? I was kind of blind. I didn't really know where I was going to go with it. Yeah. Um, were you like thinking short term and in, in a sense of like it's covid you know i yeah. mean job yeah. it's hard to get a job you know i feel like right now until covid's over this is gonna hold me over or did you think you know what this is a perfect time for me to just start something huge i didn't know where i was going i uh i just kind of started as i was just selling a few things on marketplace making a couple extra bucks and i thought it was pretty cool so i kept doing it so it wasn't until probably after COVID was done that I was like, oh, I could probably go somewhere with this. Right. This could maybe take me somewhere. So, um, I think that was kind of the turning point. Yeah, so. Have you ever thought about, like, growing it? Like, eventually opening up a shop or getting employees? Or do you always think that this will be, like, a solo e-commerce kind of side hustle? See, I envision it as kind of a side hustle. Which is and, crazy important. Yeah. I think I think everybody needs a side hustle at some point or of some sort. Yeah, I kind of see it as more of a side hustle right now. I think just because I'm in school, because mm-hmm. um, obviously it's not it's not bringing as much money as I need. Right. Because I'd be I wouldn't be in school if it was. Right. So, um, I think that I want to create like a baseline of money. I want to get enough money to actually fund what I want to do. And once I fund that, and then take over. And once I take over, then just do that full time. No, that'd be actually really cool. You know, I uh, I had that that window washing business, you know, mm-hmm. which turned out to be actually fairly successful. Yeah, man, I, um, that's crazy. It's awesome. But, but uh, I closed it down, or not closed it down, but I stopped it once I went to college, you know. And well, I, you uh, can't window wash while you're in college. You right, no, possible, but, yeah. but hear me out. This yeah. was my thought. I was sitting there, and I was like, I'm stupid. 
And the reason I say that is because what I should have been doing instead of passing out all these flyers to people, I should have because half of half of the jobs that I've gotten from the window washing was from referrals. Oh, absolutely. People going to other people. Word of mouth is the best like yeah, dude. Like that's form the, of traffic. That's the best thing for me. It's it's crazy. I really don't really I really don't advertise. I just post things on marketplace and people you know, talk. Friends of friends see it and they want it. You know, that's exactly talk, what yeah. it is. And, that's, and that's so I, I figured I'm, I'm putting, I was putting so much effort into handing out flyers, putting things up on Facebook, like ads and stuff like that. Yep. What I should have been doing is I should have been uh, training other people from in high school right now, younger kids, mm-hmm. you know, and I should have been training those kids to wash the windows, how I like it, you know, how, how it looks good, how the customers yeah. would like it exactly how they need it. And what I could have been doing is I could have been up at school handling calls be like hey how's it going oh you need this happening okay cool i'll have my guys sent out to you today call those guys up hey you got a job today at 2 30 you know what i'm saying yeah. like i could have been making i mean i would give them a portion like you know it's like i, I would give them like 60 percent, you know and i keep 40 yeah. because i always live by the thing that i always live by not the motto but the rule that to run a business you need to make 40 percent that's yeah. how you can sustain a business. Yeah, I think with your dad um, running the you know, crazy successful business that he does now is kind of rubs off on you. I mean, you can't not learn something from living with him for the last 18 years. It's pretty yeah. much impossible. So, I mean, I think, I think it's kind of in your blood. No, it, you it are, is. Dude. It is, you know, and uh, he pushes me to do different things, you know. Uh, he wants me to start uh, running leads for his business, you know. It would be awesome. Uh, but it's very difficult and confusing. You know, so is it but, one of those things where you like get the hang of it and you like got it down then? Is it kind of one um, of those things, or is it like yeah, always changing? Both, I guess. The whole, the base of a car lead doesn't change. You know, I mean, it's always going to be the same. It's always going to be a car lead. It's always going to be a car lead. A car lead's a car lead. You know, and but is it just kind of like the target audience? Yes. You have to, I mean, uh, how you how you get it or how you get a car lead? You know what I'm saying? It's it's all always going to change, especially with. The different marketing you know people are moving to tiktok to uh, market their companies yeah. instagram shit like that when as when my dad like was starting his business i mean they didn't have any of that you know mm. and then they went yeah. into like facebook and stuff like that and so my dad was pushing me to start doing facebook ads and i'm like hey facebook's great especially yeah, for you old, and Shay were older think people about doing that. no yeah we were actually going to do that and i started a thing it's actually up on google right now it's called huh. full send auto which is oh, yeah. it's it's cliche as, as shit because at that time we were fanboys of the notebooks <laughs> you know we were we were yeah, obsessed dude. and so we couldn't think of a name and so we decided on full send auto which it's not bad but it's whatever but it's up on google hey, it's full send yeah. auto.com you know yeah, sir, somewhere, bro. exactly and we got one car lead we got one lead mm-hmm. but hey. they, they don't they don't pay off of one lead at least you didn't get zero exactly so I was thinking about starting that back up because I mean that's something that I could just do by myself over I the think computer. That'd be smart. You know, I, I mean, mean, I mean, you got it all here, bro. It's right in front of you. Exactly. I mean, your dad, he could help me out whenever. Yeah, I mean, you don't have to pay to get training for something like this. You don't have exactly. to do anything like that. I mean, you just go talk to your dad and learn from him. Exactly, and I, I think so, that's a huge thing. So for sure, I, I'm definitely gonna take advantage of that. Are it's you just, gonna, like? Have you thought about taking over? Yeah. I mean, I, I have. It's always in the back you, of my mind, you know. Would you consider know? it? Yeah, I would consider it, honestly. But it's, uh, I need to do a lot of learning, you know. I mean, it, it's, a oh, fa- yeah. it's a family. It's a family-run business already. So it's not like I would be right next up in line, you know. I mean, there's definitely people that are next in line before me, you know, to run the whole mm-hmm. thing. And so it, it would be difficult because... Yeah, it, it, it'd be di- it'd be different if, if it was like Amazon or something where Jeff Bezos, like let's say Jeff Bezos was my dad or something. It'd be a lot different because Jeff Bezos has no connection to the other people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. While as in Makes the business sense. that my dad runs, you know, yeah. the other owners are my uncles. You know, the yeah, the great. workers are my aunts and uncles and cousins, you know, stuff like that. But so it, it's there's there's definitely a line, you know, and I would be at the back of it. But okay. um, I definitely feel like I have a different work ethic, 
than other people. So yeah. it 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 just. I see that, dude. You got all kinds of ambition and motivation, and I respect that about you because there's some days, dude. I just wake up and I feel like just a, just a lazy sack, dude. I don't want to get out of bed. Mm-hmm. Obviously, I mean, we all have those days, but I feel like. I feel like you're always doing something. You're always doing something in your business, always talking about it, always uh, trying to, you know, obviously grow it. And, I mean, it's new, dude. You've already had how many orders? I mean, it's it's, it's awesome, so. Yeah, no, I really appreciate that. You yeah. know, I, I agree with you. Um, I'm always trying to do something new, you know. Um, but there was something about this brand that really stuck out to me, you know. Everything kind of fell into pl- place like a puzzle you know yeah, bro, I, mean, I feel like it's i just feel like it's your vibe yeah you know i yeah. feel like you're you're being yourself in it and i think you're doing it the right way yeah i appreciate that and i'll show you real quick um we just started uh putting up different uh uh what's it called designs for our next drop uh so just yeah. letting everybody know here um we have our abstract uh 2022 drop coming up soon Let's see that uh, it's featuring a couple sweatshirts, a couple t-shirts, a pair of sweatpants, a couple hats, and uh, this flag right here. You guys would be able to get that. So um, you guys can follow us on uh, Platinum underscore Athletic Club on Instagram, and uh, you guys will stay tuned on uh, the drop dates and uh, the most recent news with our company. Um, but anyways, that was a short plug. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, man, there's no... Uh, exactly. You got to plug it somehow. So... so I'll definitely be getting one of these. I got a shirt from him. Gotta say, it's pretty awesome. We got a handwritten note. Um, the quality of the shirt's actually really nice. I was kind of, I was definitely, uh, I wouldn't say surprised, but I was definitely, uh, definitely happy with it. Yeah. And uh, I would definitely check it out. Yeah, appreciate that. Yeah. Now, uh, our next one that we're actually working on right now, which I think, in my opinion, will top the rest. The the whole. The whole point of our business, you know, yeah. we, we chose platinum because uh, it's a rare metal, you know, um, mm-hmm. but people don't realize that it's more precious than gold, silver, stuff like that. It's basically on par with a diamond. Hmm. And I uh, didn't know that. yeah, no, it's crazy. Oh, I do. Um, and so we pride ourselves of being on top of the rest, you know, and not being not boasting about it, not not being over the top about it, you know, but keep, keeping up to par with yeah. with co- competitors and, you know, um, achieving goals that they can't, you know, and uh, so we pride ourselves of that. And so that kind of ties into our next one. Uh, and uh, it's all based around paintings, like yeah. famous, famous artwork uh, over the years. And I'll show you real quick. Yeah. Uh, this is basically how our other things are going to go. So this one is uh vincent van gogh okay and so that's starry night it's one of the most famous paintings in the world Hmm. um and so all of our things all of our sweatshirts are going to consist of a painting inside of our logo yeah and on the front we'll have some other uh so will that be on the whole logo like how that will be on the back of the sweatshirt i see and uh and then this right here because this was also created by Vincent Van Gogh. That would be on the front. That's wild, dude. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> That's um, funny. And then I like that. Uh, you'll you'll know what this one is, but created that one. Oh, there you go. Isn't that cool? I like that. I've yeah. seen shirts like that. With, right. Uh, and so that that's what we're going for with our next uh, our next drop. We're just going with famous paintings, you know, nice, and uh, stuff like that, which I, like it. I think is super cool. And yeah, uh, it's abstract. Yeah, it is <laughs> abstract. Exactly. So. Um, I'm really excited about that, yeah. and uh, I'm looking forward to what is to come in the future. Mm-hmm. So what else about Platinum Athletic Club should we know? Like, like what is the, uh, what's the goal here? Like, why, why do you do it? You know, man, I ask myself that question a lot, why I even started this company. Um, but, I mean, to be honest... The whole point of starting it was to honestly make money. You know, I, yep. I never seriously had a passion for making clothing. I never had a passion for designing anything. Yeah. But I, need, I needed I needed a money opportunity. I, I walked into uh, the gym I was 
uh, I was at at that point and I saw a guy that had a cool t-shirt I asked him I was like where'd you get your t-shirt and he was like I made it and I was like really? I need to do something with this you know yeah. I mean it's cool and so um, I talked to my roommate and we decided that creating a business would be a great opportunity and something fun to do you know mm -hmm. and so um, uh, turning it into what it is now I'm, I'm very proud of what it is you know I mean even though um, we're not at the point that we want to be right now we're getting there mm -hmm. you know and uh, i believe that any progress is good progress yes um but uh i mean to tie it back into uh your question uh, i quickly found a passion for what it is you know i quickly found a passion for graphic design you know i okay. found a passion for running a business you know finance all that stuff um, yeah it's fun to it's rewarding to see very progress. very rewarding you know yeah, pack, awesome. packaging a product to send out to someone there's no better feeling mm -hmm. you know i mean yeah. you, you know how it is i mean yeah i mean for me it's just like that last piece of the puzzle when i finish you know whatever i'm making whether it be a planner box or um you know whatever i'm making yeah. but it, it's just nice to see it get out the door and money in hand no it's, it's just like i'm moving forward I it's really like. cool yeah, it's awesome. So I'm, I'm, I'm very happy with where we're at. You know, I want to yeah. keep growing. Um, right now, our number one uh, goal is to grow our social media aspect. Yeah. You know, I mean, in my opinion right now, you look online and you see all these famous uh, fitness influencers, you know, just influencers in general, you know. They're repping so many people's brands. And I look at those brands and, and I'm like. Like me, me. That could be me, but I'm looking at him and I'm like, I make better shit than that. You know, my shit is way better than that. Yeah. You know, and I have to, I just have to sit back and think and I'm like, dude, I honestly believe that half of the sales that come from this is because the famous person's wearing it. It's not because it's cool. I, I think that yeah. somebody, if, if, if somebody that wants to be like someone, let's, I'm getting very confusing right now, but <laughs> Let's just oh, yeah. say let's just say that this guy right here yeah, is cup in it. Let's say he's famous. Yeah. This guy's famous. Yeah. Okay. Right there, he's famous. Let's say that this guy is not famous and he's a bum, but he wants to be like a, fam a famous Joe, guy. Joe Schmo. Yeah. yeah. This famous guy is saying, "I'm wearing a glass right now. I'm I'm wearing glass." Right. Okay. <laughs> this guy's gonna be like, "Look, I'm not glass, but I want to be a glass, so I'm gonna buy the fucking glass. You know? Right. I'm, buy gonna, the glass. Be, I'm gonna be the glass. And now, boom." wasn't even cool he wasn't even a glass but now he's wearing a glass because famous glass that. man was wearing it that's funny shit so that's I mean, a good analogy though i don't know how you pulled it out of your ass man. <laughs> so <laughs> that, that's what we're going with right now so uh, so we just uh be the glass so now we have a couple uh sponsored athletes actually i'm uh very very excited with uh yeah. how it's all turning out i'll uh let you know real quick so um our most recent one, um, we have Eric Saikian. I don't know how to pronounce his last name. I might have butchered it, honestly. But uh, he almost has 2,000 followers on uh, Instagram, and he almost has uh, 25,000 followers on TikTok. So uh, he's going to get a sweatshirt real soon and uh, start repping that all around, getting the word out. And uh, ex I'm excited to see how, where that turns out. Yeah. Um, we also have uh, Jay Fouché. Uh, he's repping our stuff. Uh, he posted on TikTok. Uh, he has about fifteen thousand on Instagram and oh, almost wow. yeah, almost five thousand on uh, on TikTok. That's a wild name. I like that. No, it's extravagant as shit. <laughs> yeah. But uh, uh, and then we have um, another one. Good name, Mason Phillips. Hey, let's go. Uh, yeah, he is a Alabama track runner. Well, okay. he, he just graduated from Alabama. Uh, but uh. I'm looking forward to uh, watching him compete. Okay. You know, he's going to start doing shit, hopefully. Uh, hopefully, he makes it to the Olympics. How cool would that be? Really? That'd yeah. be awesome. Yeah, yeah. So, he's, he's good. So, I'm excited to see where he goes. But uh, Good news, man. Yeah, so we're just reaching out to people. You know, yeah. if they got a following and they're consistently growing, um, I, I reach out to them. Just be like, hey, I want to I wanna rep. I want you to rep us, you know, and I'll give you yeah. free shit. Who can, who can turn down free Yeah, shit? but like you said, back to the referral thing is word of mouth. Like, you see somebody wearing it, you know, you're going to you're gonna see it. Whether you like it or not, you're going to you're gonna at least know about it. Yeah, that's exactly it. You know, and, I mean, any advertising is good advertising. That's what I'm saying. 
So, so just get it out there. It's awesome. So that's what we're trying to do. So I'm very excited to see uh, see where that turns out. Yeah. But uh, but yeah, I mean enough about business. You know, we've been talking about that. Yeah. For probably. Yeah. Half hour. Probably bored with it now. But yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, so what's going on in the in the world, man? I mean, a lot of <sighs> lot of crazy shit. Yeah. I kind of try to stay out of it, but. I mean, some of it you just can't you can't, you can't look past. You can't, man. Um, I think uh, pretty sure Germany tried to get uh, taken over by twenty five terrorists the other day. Really? <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah. That's I uh, I read it somewhere and um, I'll look that up right now. Yeah, that's kind of wild, but um, they all twenty five of them got arrested, and I think they started tried to start you know a dictatorship. Really? But. Uh, so that's kind of crazy. So you looking it up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Germany arrests twenty five for far right. Oh, see CNN. They have to put in far right extremists. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Come on, bro. Bro, it's every time. It, it's every time, man. I don't understand why yeah. people have to bring politics into this. You know, I mean. It's not even... Well, it's not even at that the, point, you almost have to just because they kind of just tried to overtake the government. But hear me out, <laughs> so, man. No, hear me out. Hear I me know. Out. I have to, they have to insert their like their their view on it. Yeah. They can't just let it be an open, That's unbiased... Saying. It's not even USA, view. bro. It's yeah. not even USA. You yeah. know, it's Germany. It's a whole different country, mm-hmm. you know? I feel like if you take just what the news says and just kind of what you uh, read on, you know one or two articles you don't really get like a full understanding of actually like the whole story you have to read a lot and you gotta like sift through all the bullshit of you know what everybody's putting out there mm-hmm. and do your own research and I feel like people that are really opinionate, opinionated on things they don't really know about that's what kind of pisses me off like mm-hmm. I don't know just kind of like thinking they know something when they don't no it I, I agree you know I feel like to actually understand the whole story you have to go to multiple sources you know i mean this doesn't even uh have to correlate with news you know if 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 like you're talking to someone and they say some bullshit about someone else you know you need to go to other people see what they know for you know yeah i mean you're not gonna really know what happened to the full extent if you're not even there so let me read this right now so this is from uh from new york times this was posted on december 9th so uh fairly recently uh, it said the plan was to storm the German capital, arrest lawmakers, and execute the chancellor. A hmm. prince descended from German nobility uh, would take over as the new head of the state, and a former far-right member of parliament would be put in charge of a national purge. So maybe, maybe it was a far-right guy. That doesn't sound. <laughs> that doesn't sound too good. No. No. I don't know how that works. Honestly, I don't know how yeah, things I'm across really the country works. You know. But uh, sure hey, go go USA for not having those kind of problems. Right. I'm, well, we kind of do, bro. We, we had like how many people stormed the Capitol? No, that was like, pretty, a while back. Like that that's was pretty, pretty crazy. crazy. That was right. Crazy. I mean, they had to call in the military. To, yeah, but uh, I, I actually get them out of there. I don't know how like like aggressive they were towards other people. You know? Oh, I they're mean, pretty aggressive. They uh, for my for what I know, I think they're pretty sure they stormed into um, the Capitol actually. You know, past like physically. Um, Did they have guns? I don't know. I don't think so. Right. They might have. I I couldn't tell I don't you. Know. That's all I know. I so, don't know. I mean, everything's crazy. You look at it, dude. The world's falling apart. I don't know why people have to be wild like that. Yeah. You know, why can't you just sit back and like enjoy life? Bro, just chill out. Why Why does everything have to be a problem? Annoying. you know and then everybody brings politics into things you know i mean mm-hmm. with my school even though i am like associated with um that kind of uh, political mindset that my school teaches you know i mean i don't understand why they have to push that so much you know yeah it's kind of like you uh just kind of build your own mindset exactly i, I mean have to push my, theirs my, on your on my your... philosophy class you know i mean the stuff that yeah. he taught us was like fair, you know, and it yeah. opened I'm my mind way. to some things. I'm the same way. But yeah. I'm sitting there and I'm like, why am I learning about this right now? You know, I mean, I understand that maybe you have to at some point, but like, I'm 18 years old, you know, I'm not, I, I shouldn't have to know like everything right now, you know, I just want to yeah. learn. I think 
Maybe I'm wrong about that. Maybe I'm. I think a couple. Um, I like the philosophy classes. I'm in one right now. You know, mm-hmm. it depends on the teacher, obviously, um, and who's um, who's a professor. But I think they're beneficial. I think I think it kind of helps like open kids' eyes to you know what's kind of going on where the U.S. kind of came from. I don't know if because I'm in foundations of American experience. Okay, I'm in. Uh... It's kind of different. I'm in philosophy of uh, America and business. Okay, so it's kind of, kind Fair, of similar. Fairly the same it's thing. Kind of, it's just are you reading about more... like Aristotle, Socrates? Uh, no, we actually have a book. I wonder if I have them here. Uh, I have one of them. So this one, it's called uh, "Free to Choose." It's by Milton Friedman. Okay. This is like Milton Friedman. I'm telling you, is like the godfather of Northwood. Like. Really? He has like shaped Northwood into the school that it is today. It's 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 wild. So who is he to Northwood? Like is he? A... He's a philosopher, and he um, came up with the Northwood idea, um, mm-hmm. whereas like basically stating that everyone has the right to uh, free enterprise, and the school prides itself of uh, giving the students opportunities to. Um, have free enterprise and shit like that like free enterprise basically just meaning like you can work you know like whatever you want you know you don't yeah. you don't have to get forced into anything like that you know so yeah, i mean it's cool it's really cool but yeah. i mean so that your like class book you guys read off of that this uh yes i think i actually do think that this is the same exact thing um yeah but yeah it. they call it uh, the northwood bible mm. Nice. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, it's whatever. But the, it's the word, cult. honestly, man, <laughs> it's like I consider myself a businessman, you know, but yeah, I don't bro. think I need to use huge words to like be a businessman. No. And I feel like they push that on us. Mm-hmm. You know, you have to use big words. Like, I think you sound like you know what you're talking about. Yeah, you, but like in reality and everything, but right. in reality, when you get to know somebody and know what they're uh, doing and what they're doing it for, I think that's what all that matters. Like, listen to this, man. Just listen to one of these. It is even more astounding that the pencil was ever produced. No one sitting in a central office gave orders to these thousands of people. No military police enforced the orders that were not... I guess that doesn't really sound that bad. But I know, dude. They, they the price system. The price system is the mechanism that performs this task without central divi- direction, without requiring people to speak to one another or like or to like one another. It's like I don't know what the hell. That Trying means. to dumb that down, it's like almost impossible. <laughs> it's I think impossible. that's where the teacher comes in, and you kind of have to like interpret everything and learn it. Right, but here's here learn. here's where I get screwed over. My teacher expects expects us to read this and have questions about it, and yeah, then when people when people go. I don't understand what that means. He's like, no. now you tell me this. <laughs> and I'm like, bro, I you don't understand. You understand. <laughs> I don't get it. It makes no sense. But uh, I'm not going to lie. I probably haven't uh, read a single page of my philosophy book. I didn't read any this of year. it either. I haven't uh, I've just kind of learned shit in class. So, <laughs> I mean, that's it, where I'm at. if you can pick up whatever it's, it's putting at. down, that's good enough for me, you know? Yeah, C's get degrees, right? That's exactly it. So... so. So yeah, man. Uh, I mean, do you have anything else that you would like to bring up? I mean, I'm I'm pretty uh pretty happy with the, with the way this went. So I mean, I'm likewise. Yeah, man. This is awesome. So yeah, I uh, I really appreciate you coming on, and uh, yeah. I would love for you to come back on at some point in the future. Let's do it. All right, sounds happy good, man. Here, man. I really appreciate it. Thanks, guys. All right, brother. Hey, uh, so everybody else watching still, uh, I appreciate you guys for watching this podcast. Um, if you want, you can go check out uh, Mason on Facebook. You want to plug your yeah? Go check me out on Facebook, uh, Instagram, Etsy at MJ Garage. Um, either look up MJ Garage or Mason Brown. Uh, either one will probably work. So sounds good. Go I mean, is there anything else you want to plug? Not right now. I'm sure I'll have some more. <laughs> Maybe for the future. Later, a little Maybe bit for the future. More in the future, but yeah, just go check me out on all three of those platforms. So. All right, Thank guys. You. Well, I appreciate you uh, for watching the Pack Podcast. Uh, again, if you want to go check out what we have in stock right now, you can go to uh, www.planetathleticclub.net uh, to check out our collection of shirts right now. Um, and uh, follow our Instagram, uh, Platinum underscore Athletic Club, or our TikTok, Platinum Athletic Club, to uh, stay tuned on our newest drop dates. So I'm really excited to see where this goes. And uh, Yeah. 
once again, thanks guys for watching. Yeah, Have go check night. it out. It's good shit. Have a good night, guys. <laughs>